from the Mercy One Studio. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, cindyschulte.com, and Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Catholic Women Now here around the Catholic Women Coffee Table. I'm Julie Nelson. Good morning. I'm Chris Magruder. We are so delighted you chose to be with us today. Maybe you're listening to us live, or maybe you're listening to us on the Iowa Catholic Radio app, where we have all our shows podcasted. So if you can't catch us live, you can catch us anytime while you're driving your kids, doing your laundry, washing your dishes, or just relaxing. (laughs) We're We're here for you. We're here for you. That's right. Again, Pull up your chair with some coffee, some tea, some water, orange juice, whatever is your choice this morning, and join us. Listen in. We've got Sonia Corbett that's going to be with us, and we're excited. She's an author. She's the Bible evangelista. Yeah, she kind of self-dubbed her name that, self that. Yes. So, yeah, she's a speaker at the this upcoming Saturday, Women's Conference, The Soul of the Matter, sponsored by Iowa Catholic Radio, being held at St. Francis Catholic Church in West Des Moines. And tickets are still available. Go to iowacatholicradio.com and get your tickets. And sign up. It's going to be a great conference, and we've got lots of women coming. We've got some big names from EWTN this time, don't we? With Sonia Corbett, Father Wade Menezes. Did I say that right, Julie? Menezes. Tony, is it Menezes? I always get it wrong. Yeah, we have have our... (laughs) It's Menezes. Yeah, okay, okay. I said it right. Thank okay, right. thank you. Yeah, and we've got Susan Tassoni coming. The purgatory so. lady, and yes. she says it's purgatory season because tomorrow's All Saints Day, and, All Souls Day. And it's I a think, day of obligation yes, for Mass. Yes, and we are going to be learning all about it, so it'll and be fun. speaking of tomorrow then, too, tomorrow night, um, there's Mass at 515 at St. Francis Church in West Des Moines, and following that, Susan Tassoni will be giving a talk on purgatory, so you might want to check that out yeah. for your... The purgatory lady is going to talk on purgatory. Yes, think about that. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's great that you can go to Mass and then you can hear this talk afterwards. Yeah, and she is one you got to hear. She's just got a lot of spunk, energy, fun. And, you know, I'm sure she won't talk long because, you know, she's a good speaker. She knows. So you come on out and listen to her well, because, or stay a little bit longer after Mass. It'll be great. The thing about Susan Tassoni is purgatory is not one of those topics you think would be exciting to learn about <laughs> but she just is <laughs> she makes it exciting and so that's what's so fun to listen to her about it it's uh-huh. like you get fired up about these souls in purgatory uh-huh. and what they can do for us and the so much holiness so much holiness in this so yeah. yes yes and you know what julie just I, I know we didn't intend to talk about this but i have to say thank you souls of purgatory people pray for those souls in purgatory they will pray for you and they have helped me Several Excellent. times with big things because, you know, th- they can't pray for themselves, but they can certainly pray for us. So we got to help them by returning the favor and I praying know. for them. And I so. have um, deceased relatives. My father's passed away. So after he passed away, it was like, okay, Dad, you know, pray for your grandson that's really in <laughs> trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a grandson in trouble, huh? Uh, <laughs> Just no, using that as an example. Yeah, exam as an example. <laughs> yes. But I mean, really, truly, it was. It, you know, I called on him for prayers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely. And we're excited around here at Iowa Catholic Radio, and we hope you are too for the upcoming event, December 7th. Mark your calendars. Oop Feedham and Iowa Catholic Radio present Extra Ordinary News with Father John Ricardo. Amen. He's going to be so fun. And a premiere of the Valerie Moon. God willing. Chris. Chris is uh, very involved in that, as we know. And this will be at the Iowa Events Center Grand Ballroom. You can get your tickets at iowacatholicradio.com. They're only $20. And if you cannot afford $20, we can make some kind of arrangements for yep. that, too. Give us a call. Matter of fact, I just had somebody last night send me an email, and he said, I want to um, I want to help with 20 tickets for anybody that has a hard time being Okay, there, so if people would like a, a scholarship ticket, would they contact you, Chris? You know, they should probably contact... Iowa Catholic Radio okay. at 223-1150. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then they can get a hold of me because <laughs> I'm not I'm not as available as, as Maddie is sitting at our front yeah. desk here. So yes, who does a fine job. <laughs> yeah. Maddie so that does. number again is 223-1150, which is also the text line. So if you have something you want to text in today, that's 223-1150. And I have to put a little plug in here. I want to give a shout out to the women at St. Pius Altar and Rosary Society. I was there Monday night giving a talk to them. What a great group of ladies. The room was full. It's an active group. 
group. It was really exciting to be there. Oh, well, good for you. And so did, did your talk go well? The Holy it, Spirit worked through you that you know, night? I did. I felt like the Lord's hand was upon me when I walked in that room. And, you know, it was one of those talks that, you know, you look out in the audience and people are nodding their head. And oh, you're like, that's Thank good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. I, talked to, I gave a talk on St. Therese of Lisieux and St. Catherine of Siena, but how they are saints for our time, wow. too. Oh, two know. of my most favorite saints. And they're very powerful saints in a different way. So. Wow. Well, you know what? We need to start in prayer. Let's go ahead. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And thank you to Cindy Schulte of Farm Bureau of Financial Services for underwriting our show, Catholic Women Now. Cindy is an authorized independent agent. She and her team provide health insurance options from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. She does a great job of helping you out, people. If you need somebody like her, call her at 515-226-2111 or by going to the web at cindyschulte.com. All right, we want to welcome our guest today, Sonia Corbett. She's a Catholic speaker, author, and Bible study evangelista. She made her debut with her book, Unleashed, followed by the book's Fearless, Ignite, and she has a new one just came out called Exalted. Sonia holds, ho, also hosts a series on Catholic TV, a radio show, the Bible Study Evangelista Show. She is a regular guest on EWTN and writes for Jeff Cavins, <laughs> the Great Adventure Bible Study blog. I think she's busier than we are. Welcome, Sonia, <laughs> to the show, and thank you for taking time for us. Good morning. It's my privilege. Well, um, we're excited to meet you. You'll be flying in tomorrow for the Iowa Catholic Radio Women's Conference that will be on Saturday. So have you ever been to Des Moines before? I haven't. I'm looking forward to it. I was listening to your combo about uh, Susan Tassoni, and I cannot wait to hear her. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, gosh, you've never been to Des Moines. You're in for a treat. You're not going to know if it's fall, winter, <laughs> I hope or it's summer. it's not as cold here. as I, I'm, I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is, well, it is a little bit unseasonably cold right now. So, yeah, for for you southern gal, you'll probably freeze. <laughs> <laughs> her, her blood is a little thinner. I'll tell you what, right now we have snow on the ground as well as leaves falling on top of the snow. So we've got Are a combination. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, my we, word. we get it all. It's Iowa. <laughs> and sometimes we get it all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, we have that issue, too. Oh, goodness. Oh, a- well, Sonia, tell us about the title of your talk. Let our listeners know what you're going to talk about this weekend. Well, I'm going to also talk about purgatory, but probably from a different direction um, than the other speakers. Um, the title of the conference is The Soul of the Matter. Yep. And so I'm actually going to speak about purgatory as the love of God. And and I say this sometimes in people's head spins, um, but... <laughs> So purgatory is not a place, it's a person. And so purgatory is the person of God himself. And so we'll talk about um, purgatory as the love of God that purifies us. And so I'm looking forward to that, actually. And and, uh, one of my other books, I did a study on the Old Testament tabernacle as the basis or the skeleton or the foundation of the Catholic Church. And one of the things that I found interesting is that most of the the most like controversial issues for a non-Catholic, I'm a convert, so um, coming to the Catholic Church, uh, most of those controversial issues were addressed in that Old Testament tabernacle, and purgatory is one of them. So we'll talk about uh, the firefall of the sacrifices on the Old Testament altar and how they prefigured uh, purgatory, and I know those are lots of dots to try to connect, but I promise I'll be, I'll do it. Wow, <laughs> so. awesome. Well, you know what, Sonia, we're coming up against a break already, but when we come back, we want to ask you a little bit about your impetus and your interest in purgatory and a little bit about your background. So we'll be okay. back with Catholic Women now in a minute. Why do folks give to the Catholic tuition organization? Probably because they love Catholic schools, right? Partially, but they also like the tax benefits, or they were helped when their kids were in school, or they have been blessed and want to bless others. Whatever the reason, the 65% tax credits are great, and after all, it's for the kids and their future. Online, (laughs) ctoiowa.org. 
Thank you, Skeffington's Formal Wear, for sponsoring Dowling Catholic High School football. In business since 1951, Skeffington's Formal Wear offers quality service, style, and selection, providing tuxedos, suits, and casual groom attire for weddings, proms, and any other special occasion. Skeffington's Formal Wear, with convenient locations in Des Moines, West Des Moines, Davenport, Coralville, and Ankeny. All locations are family-owned and operated by members in their respective communities, fitting you for life celebrations, online at skeffingtons.com. Is it time for a new roof? Then it could be time for you to get to know Bell Construction. Bell Construction is a roofing company entering its 30th year of business. They specialize in residential re-roofs, like commercial jobs, and have the experience to meet all of your roofing needs with personal service. With Bell Construction, the owner will come to your home or place of business in person to inspect and ensure the quality of work that you deserve. They pride themselves in working with you on a personal basis and making sure you are satisfied. Bell Construction, 515-963-4494. Thank you, R&R Realty Group, for supporting Dowling Catholic Sports 365. R&R Realty Group is an Iowa commercial real estate owner and developer that provides services for all commercial real estate needs, including brokerage, interior space planning, real estate management, construction, and more. R&R Realty Group has been accommodating business expansions and real estate solutions since 1985, solving commercial real estate needs. R&R Realty Group, establishing long-term relationships built on trust. to Sonia Corbett, the Bible evangelista, who will be with us at I, the Iowa Catholic Radio Women's Conference this weekend. Sonia, okay, so back to what we were talking about. I think you were just going to start getting into a little bit about what your background was. I think you were a Southern Baptist girl, as I remember. Tell us a little yep. bit about that, and what was your impetus for um, your interest in purgatory? Well, okay, so yeah, I am a Southern Baptist convert, and down here, that's about all there is. <laughs> and it was a what I call a perfect storm, really, because I had a friend who came into the Catholic Church, and I went to her uh, Easter Vigil Mass. And at the same time, I have spent, and probably until I'm dead, I will still be working on a what I call a father wound with God. And that father wound and how God has been forming me and trying to heal me of that sort of contributed, actually, to bringing me into the church, and specifically, I discovered that Martin Luther actually had a, uh, a father wound as well, and oh, it caused yes. him to do mm-hmm. the same mm-hmm. exact things that I was doing in my own life. I have a real problem with anger and rebellion and rage, that kind of thing. So um, that, along with the Easter Vigil of my friend and writing my own Bible studies and resources and doing some research on church history sort of sucked me into the neck of the funnel. <laughs> and, <laughs> we got you. And so here I am. But yeah, and, and the whole purgatory idea, I, I'd, I, as I came into the Catholic Church, it was so difficult. It was so hard on my marriage. It was hard in every single way. Everything was happening at one time in my life. I had a, a brand new baby, so I was postpartum. I had uh, my, my oldest son had a devastating accident that almost killed him, and so he, oh, oh he, was, he couldn't walk. He was uh, eight at the time, so oh. I had a, an invalid that I was trying to take care of. I lost my job. My husband, his hours were cut, so we went from two incomes to a half of an income. I was being persecuted at church. I was, I mean, just, you know, you name it. Everything was wow, happening at one time. a lot time. of suffering for you in a moment. It was, but my patron saint is John of the Cross, and his teaching on suffering and what God is using it for was absolutely transformative for me, and it just, it changed everything, and and it really helped me see purgatory as a wonderful, wonderful gift, and it's not something we should be afraid of. Well, speak, speak briefly to John of the Cross. What does he say about suffering? Tell our listeners. Well, basically, what he says is it's it's all ordered to your unique uh, salvation. We'll say your sanctification, your purification. So each of of us suffers uniquely because of our own circumstances and the relationships that that we have with other people. And so we the the suffering that God bring 
well, he doesn't bring it to us. I hate right. to say that, yeah, but he, that allows. he allows. allows but, yeah, that. the suffering that God allows is meant and ordered to our unique purification. And so what I discovered is all the things that I was suffering and the relationships, the difficulties in the relationships that I, that I had, they were, I had patterns there. And when I started to really look at the pattern, what I noticed is that God was using those relationships and those circumstances to help grow me out of this fire wound. And it, it was amazing because what, what happens then when, when you get that kind of idea of, of suffering, you're willing to lean into it. And there were even times when I said, all right, Lord, I'm, I'm ready now. What are we doing next? So, Sonia, I've got to <laughs> you know, ask you a question. Knowing that that was going to bring probably some, some more suffering, but, it, but it's a good thing. So, Sonia, I have a question to ask you. So a lot of times when people go through a lot of tragedy and things like that, that it's beyond their control, so to speak, or looked at, there's a lot of qu- a question of victimhood that they kind of adopt. So how did St. John of the Cross, or where did this process jump you out of the from victimhood to what can I do with this? Well, I had really started that process um, years before, but what he did for me and, and what he changed for me was understanding that each of those unique circumstances, and of course we don't, we don't get answers right away always, but, but I have found that God, you know, I, I ask why about everything. I'm Me just too. one of those people, and you. I know I'm so annoying <laughs> to God, but I just, I want to know why. If I can know, will you tell me? And so I, you know, I would ask, why is this happening, or why did that happen? And, and you know, if you give it enough time, God shows you some of the fruit of what's happening. And when you see what he's doing, because I would get so angry, I would get, I would just rail at God, I mean, curse and, and just say the <laughs> ugliest thing things. I mean, I, 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 like I said, I have this issue with anger and rage. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, I would just, I would just tear on God and, and he, he would show me something very small. This is part of what's happening. And when I could see that, and, and John of the Cross really helped me um, kind of push through the, the pain and anger of stuff enough to, to just really try to, um, to relate to God and just be honest with Him. And so when God would kind of show me a little bit of, of what He was doing, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're doing that? Okay, okay. So I'm willing then, I know this sucks right now, but, but I'm willing to kind of um, lean into it with yeah. you and, and thank you. Wow. Even, you know, even the, the pain of it is a gift. Mm. And that is the beauty of the Catholic Church teaching is that we take suffering because we know it's inevitable in our lives, but we bring, there's a, a sense of bringing goodness out of it and good out of it. And that's one of the most beautiful things. It's that purifying love. Kind of like the labor pains that bring a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. purifying love. Yes. Mm-hmm. Purifying fire. So, Sonia, we have to take another break. But when we come back, we'd like to hear more about the biblical references for purgatory. This is Catholic Women Now. And we'll be back after this break. The Man Up West Power Lunch is Friday, November 8th at noon. Tim Jamieson will discuss the relic of the true cross of Jesus Christ, plus other relics of the saints. Lunch provided by Chick-fil-A. The Man Up West Power Lunch at St. Francis of Assisi, Friday, November 8th at noon. Learn more at iowacatholicradio.com. Why do folks give to the Catholic tuition organization? Probably because they love Catholic schools, right? Partially, but they also like the tax benefits, or they were helped when their kids were in school, or they have been blessed and want to bless others. Whatever the reason, the 65% tax credits are great, and after all, it's for the kids and their future. Online, (laughs) ctoiowa.org. Is it time for a new roof? Then it could be time for you to get to know Bell Construction. Bell Construction is a roofing company entering its 30th year of business. They specialize in residential re-roofs, like commercial jobs, and have the experience to meet all of your roofing needs with personal service. With Bell Construction, the owner will come to your home or place of business in person to inspect and ensure the quality of work that you deserve. They pride themselves in working with you on a personal basis and making sure you are satisfied. Bell Construction, 515-963-4494. Thank you, Dental Associates, for supporting Dowling Catholic Sports 365. Dental Associates, addressing your smile, needs, and dreams. 515-225-6742. Online at Des Moines-DentalAssociates.com. 
Ladies, do you want a spiritual boost? Then join Iowa Catholic Radio at our women's conference, The Soul of the Matter, on Saturday, November 2nd at St. Francis in West Des Moines. It promises to be a powerful day beginning with Mass celebrated by Bishop Johnson, followed by three amazing speakers, Father Wade Benesis, a radio and EWTN favorite, Susan Tassoni, the Purgatory Lady, and Sonia Corbett, the Bible Evangelista. Register now at iowacatholicradio.com or call 515-223-1150. Catholic Women Hour and speaking with Sonia Corbett about purgatory and suffering. And Sonia, right before the break, we wanted to come back with having you to give us a few um, biblical references for purgatory because the word purgatory does not itself show up in the Bible. So how do we know that's purgatory right. exists? That's right. So um, that's we would call that an implicit uh, reference. So it's not explicit in the Bible because the word doesn't actually appear, but it is implicitly in the Bible all over the place. And specifically, um, one of the things as a a non-Catholic convert, one of the things that is helpful sometimes is um, is to share the words that the Bible does use. And so sanctif- to, uh, to be sanctified or sanctification, that's, that's a very similar, it's almost exactly the same word, actually. So purgatory, then, is a Latin word, and the Bible was written in Hebrew and Greek, mostly. So the word, then, would be sanctification. So we're being sanctified, and that just means purified. We're being cleansed of the attachments. And, and that's the thing about purgatory that is so important and so necessary. And and when I was sharing about my own father wound, that's exactly what it's meant to do. Purgatory is meant to happen here, first of all. It should happen on earth. <laughs> and God gives us lots and lots of, of practice, you know, by sending and allowing and, um, and helping us through the things that we experience in those sufferings. And that, that practice, if we kind of take a look at it, we can see that there is, there is usually pattern, there is a pattern to some of the things that we experience. In fact, everything, everything repeats in patterns. So the weather, um, flower petals, DNA, everything repeats in patterns. And if we start to look at our own patterns of behavior and relationships and that kind of thing, we can sort of see how the Holy Spirit is working. And so in cooperating with Him, when we lean into those uh, experiences, then he can, he can use them then to purify and sanctify us. So, where is it in the Bible? It's all over the place. In the Old Testament, fire was used over and over again to convey the presence of God. So, when God made a covenant with Abraham, he appeared in what was called a smoking torch or a, a fire, uh, the burning bush. Uh, he appeared to Moses in the burning bush. The um, Passover lamb had to be roasted and eaten. It had to be roasted in fire and then eaten. Uh, the pillar of fire that guided the Israelites through the wilderness, um, it was a fire by night and a cloud by day, but that pillar of fire was the presence of God guiding them through the wilderness. Um, on Mount Sinai, God appeared there and gave the law to Moses uh, it, in part as a, a as a fire on top of the, the mountain. It, it terrified the people. Just over and over again, in the Old Testament, God appears, um, and he's a spirit, obviously, so he's not a fire, <laughs> mm-hmm. but he appears in this, in this um, well, it's, there's a big church word for it, but uh, he appears as a fire, and the people understood um, that that was God's presence. And so in the New Testament, then, we see that the uh, a similar idea we see it in acts when the holy spirit uh, fell on uh, in the upper room on mm-hmm. the apostles and the disciples there uh, we see it <clears throat> in the the letters of peter he talks specifically about how our fiery trials teach us not to sin anymore and that's the whole idea of purification oh, yeah. and sanctification. We see in Paul, 1 Corinthians 3.15, where he talks about being saved. Our works are judged and, um, and purified in that fire. And so we 
we may suffer loss because our works are often impure, but we may suffer loss and still be saved through fire, he says specifically. And then my one of my favorite verses ever is Hebrews twelve twenty nine, where it says clearly that our God is a consuming fire. Hmm. I love that idea. I know that should probably terrify us, but no, <laughs> I yeah, think it's like, the coolest yeah, idea we, ever. We, we God is a consuming fire. It, we don't want purgatory. We, it's not something we want. That's for but, sure. And it's not consuming in that it destroys us. It's consuming right. that it purifies us. Mer- merciful. Right. Yeah, Very and merciful. I think that's the thing that would has to be made. Here. You know, Sonia, we are at the close of the show. This has been so wonderful to talk to you, and we're looking forward to hearing more about all this on Saturday when you come to speak at the Iowa Catholic Radio Women's Conference. So keep up the good work, and we'll, we'll see you Saturday. Thank you. I can't wait. All yeah. right. God bless. I'll see you there. Catholic Women Now is grateful for the support of Mr. Haas, attorney at law. Mr. Haas is dedicated to providing personal and highly responsive legal services to people who have suffered an injury. Online, fredhaas.com, Fred double D, Haas double A. The Iowa Catholic Radio Rosary is up next. There are, it can also be heard at five, excuse me, 9.30 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. And we really appreciate your help if you would make a $30 a month tax-deductible donation to Iowa Catholic Radio as we continue to teach, evangelize, and defend our Catholic faith. You want to take us out with a prayer? Absolutely. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, we just turn to you, and we just ask you to give us the graces to accept the sufferings that will come our way, that are inevitable inevitable in our lives. But Lord, we just know those sufferings have a great purpose in your plan for us. And Lord, let's help, help us to surrender our everything to you. We give us, we give to you our everything, our, our, our hearts, that you can take those and transform them into the burning heart of your sacred heart, the love that you have that burns for us. And we ask this in your name, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go do impossible things with God. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. And Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. CindySchulte.com. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder every Thursday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. On the radio voice for Catholic Women Now. 1150 a.m., 88.5 FM, and 94.5 FM. And on the Iowa Catholic Radio app. Iowa Catholic Radio. Radio.